Welcome back guys, it's Michael from Economy. This is the fourth episode in our eViews tutorials and today I'll be talking you through how to create graphs on eViews and copy them over to Office programs such as Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Now there is one small thing I'd like to point out here and that is I'm using time series data. And so when I do plot a graph of an individual variable, it will be against time. It's just something to bear in mind if I was using cross-section data, it would be against, say, the different countries that the measurements are taken in. And we'll start by doing just that. So I'll plot one single indicator, I've chosen population here. So all you have to do, double click, opens up a spreadsheet here of the raw data that has been taken from the Excel file. So what I want to do is go to view, click on graph, and it opens up these graph options here. Now the first thing you want to take note of is which type of graph you're using. So here it's highlighted as line and symbol, that's the default. You can also have bar, spike, area, dot plot, it goes on. This list changes depending on if you're using one series of data or multiple. I'll show you that later on in the video. Something else to take note of here is this detail section. If you go up to graph data, click on the drop down menu here. You don't just have to have the raw data. You have means, medians, it keeps going. There's a lot of different options you can have for graphs here. Orientation, it's just where do you want the years axis in this situation on the bottom or on the left. Very simple, axis borders, it's all cosmetic. A lot of the options here on the left are cosmetic changes, but this axis and scaling, when you have more data series, this does come in very handy. I'll show you that in a bit. Back to the graph type. We're just going to do a simple line and symbol graph here. All you need to do is click OK. And there you go, you've got your graph. Now in order to copy this over to an Office program, here I'm going to be using Word. We'll be using one of the greatest creations in the history of computing, that is good old friend, copy and paste. So you right click on the graph, click copy to clipboard, go into your program, as I said here I'm using Word, and you just paste it. Simple as that. And now I'm going to show you how to plot multiple series on the same graph. So you can come out of there, so click cross. A side note here actually is eViews remembers that you've created a graph when you next open up the series. There you go, it's still there. Now in order to plot multiple series on the same graph, just hold down control and you can highlight whatever series you want to add. You can also click them back if you've got the wrong one. So here I'm going to just do population and fossil fuel consumption. So you right click, go to open as group and here's the familiar spreadsheet view. Go to view graph exact same as before the difference is you'll notice here multiple series has a drop down menu now so you can have single graph stacked in a single graph so one on top of each other and multiple graphs for the purpose of this video I'm just going to use a single graph for now just to show you what it's like so if we go with the default settings here click OK but this is useless for comparison measures as populations up in 60 million mark fossil fuel consumption it's in kilotons it's down at 8 point whatever and so we need to put another axis on this graph so we go back into graph go down to axes and scaling if you're using the older version of eViews these options will be in tabs above the top so you can see on the right here series axis alignment what you want to do is put one of these on the right axis by clicking on this box here and you can also have the option here dual axis scaling the default setting is no overlap so the lines do not cross and I'll show you what that looks like here as you can see population is on the lower half of the graph the fossil fuel consumption is stacked above it which some people may like but I prefer to have lines across it's easier for comparison so if we go back into graph over to axes and scaling 
and you click overlap scales and it's a lot easier for comparison measures as I mentioned. Now another graph type I'd like to show you is the scatter graph you can have on here which allows you to see the relationship between two variables. So if you go back on to graph options down here to scatter click OK and here you can see the general trend between the two. Now it may be easier to see this relationship if you swap the axes over so back over to axes and scaling and just swap them around there from left to bottom click OK and again you can see sort of like a snake shape relationship there now you can also get lines of best fit there are several different types. Go back onto graph. You see here in the detail section fit lines. At the moment there's none. If you want just a, a standard line of best fit, it would be the regression line here. Click OK and it shows the general trend of where your data is heading. Um, in this example it isn't very clear from the pattern of scatter plots. And now the final thing I want to show you here we can come out of there. Uh, this is another point here. If you'd like to keep this group, so in this instance, population and fossil fuel group together, you just click name here, name it wherever you'd like. I'll keep it as group one, and it comes up here in your list right there. So you can click it, you're straight back into it. It's just a nice little shortcut there. Now, in order to plot a higher number of variables together, once again, you just highlight what you need so I'm going to do population log of GDP fossil fuel consumption and CO2 again right click open as group an important thing to note here is that the order that these variables are inputted into this group is the same order in which I highlighted them so I did population first then log of GDP it's not the alphabetical order that you'd have in the work file here and I'll show you why that could be a cause of confusion when you're trying to plot these graphs. If you go back into graph here, and on a multiple series, you could have them on a single graph, but the range and scale of these measurements tends to make it look like that. Completely useless in a comparison sense. You go back to graph, and what you can do if you go down to multiple graphs here, click OK, and this just shows you the relationship that they have against time. You can also have multiple graphs comparing the relationship in scatter graphs. So as you see here, a multiple series, there's multiple graphs, first versus all. If you click OK there, it's very hard to see there, I'll full screen it. So you have the first one, population, is in every single graph here to show the relationship between the two variables. And once again, all you have to do is right click, copy, go into Word or Excel, whatever, and click paste. I'd like to point out here that it does get pasted through as one singular object. Microsoft programs do not detect that these are multiple graphs. So that's something just to bear in mind there. And that is it. That is how you create graphs on eViews. If you'd like to just take your time, have a little play around, there are many, many options you can have with these graphs in this program. Um, if you like the video, please like, hit subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll be back soon with my next video.